As we enter the season of Thanksgiving, we are reminded that the word Thanksgiving consists of two words, thanks and giving. The first word is thanks. Yes, we must express our thanks to the Lord. Especially living in the U.S., we realize in so many ways God has blessed this country. For those of us who come from another country and immigrate to America, for us, it's so natural. See so many good things in this country. I love this country because God has loved this country in a special way and blessed it in a special way. But the second word, giving, that's a biblical principle. You know, when I teach on television, when I teach on our Church 7, which is a global church, what I teach to our disciples or underground church leaders is this. Whatever you receive, you must give to others. Every blessing you receive, you must give. If it's a gospel, which is the greatest blessing, you must share the gospel. If the blessing is a peace, love, and joy that the Lord has given to you, you must pass it on. And I want to share this principle with you. Yes, God has blessed me and you with so many things, but that's just the half of the story. We must be giving these blessings to others. I'm thankful for you who have stood by us. For those of you who have prayed for us, who have given us, who have partnered with us to take the blessings of God to the Middle East and especially Iran. I want to read you a story, the story of Nuri. Nuri came to Christ five years ago, but he says he did not grow in his spiritual faith until he started watching our programs. You see, our goal is not just discipleship. We want people's lives transformed. We want them to be disciples. We want them to uh, serve the Lord. We want them to plant churches, not just evangelism. And here is an example. Nuri says, my name is Nuri from Iran. I have been a believer for the fast, last five years. But through your programs, I have finally realized what being a Christian means. I just learned what it means to live in Christ and have Christ live in me. Oh, wonderful point. I was always full of myself and was egotistical. This drove a wedge between me and my family. Through Church 7 programs, that's our global church, which I've been watching for the past three weeks, I realize now how I have hurt the body of Christ. I promise God that the fruit of the Spirit will be evident in me and I would walk in humility to be a positive influence in my family and those around me. I thank you for Church 7 and your life-changing teachings. This is my church and it has helped start transforming me to who God calls me to be. Praise the Lord. Because of you, because of your support, we are passing the blessing that God has given us in America, the freedom, the gospel. We are passing it on to the people of Middle East and Iran. So in this season of Thanksgiving, first, let's express our thanks to the Lord. And number two, let's start giving and passing on the blessings the Lord has given us. God bless you.